Hello. I have Anne McGuire and our friend Mona Furman Lit. <laughs> did I say it right? You Mona? did. Yep. Thank you. You did. Um, today we're going to make fish chowder. And lucky us, Mona went deep sea fishing and caught us a very ugly blue fish. It's beautiful. I was going to say beautiful, but it's Look that. not. Stop it. Blue fish is technically really ugly, I, apparently. But you can use it to make fish chowder, and that's what we're going to do today. So, uh, so what's the first? So the first step, step Mary, we is we're gonna make sure Anne, right, that that's a fresh fish, and we know it is, but it's supposed to smell like cucumber. Everyone, take a smell. Yep. Oh, it's a cucumber, right? No, yeah, sure. if it's, it's a little fishy cucumber, but it's cucumber nonetheless. It's All right, so we have our fish. Then we need some potatoes, right, Anne? What's a chowder without potatoes? Yep, right. Yellow. What's an Irishman without potatoes? What's an Irishman without potatoes? And this thing here. An onion. An onion. Anyway, uh, a little pepper, a oh, flavor right. Yeah. Always have your butter. Lots of butter. No At least butter. a pound of it. No margarine. Oh, thank you. Margarine. No. I hate margarine. No, you can say that. There's no reason to have margarine. What? Butter, butter is always butter. better. Because it's grouty. Because it's grouty. And it's zero, it's zero trans fat. I know it's going to work. And then we have our half and half. Oh, growing your stuff. That's good. Yeah, that's what makes it good too. That's what makes this low fat. <laughs> <laughs> now you can use milk if you want, right, Anne? And you can use heavy cream, but we've chosen this. Why have we chosen this, Anne? Uh, grade A, half and, and half. And the, yeah, because it's all we had. We <laughs> and that's the other part. Yeah. <laughs> that's the other part. You can kind of just whip these things well, together, yes. right, Stella? Yeah. And we're not using this, are we? And well, you can put a celery in it, but what Caroline doesn't like celery in her chowder. Uh, That's all right. You can pick yours out. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, so Mona, tell yes. us a little bit about your fishing trip. Well, we um, chartered a boat, three couples, and we went out and we went for stripers and we went for bluefish. Um, and the blue, the stripers weren't. We couldn't get any stripers, so we got the bluefish, and they they come out. They're huge, and they're ugly. Um, Uglier than that, huh? Yeah. Really yeah, but they fillet them right there for you. That's nice. So we didn't have to keep looking at it. You, you um, got a bunch, didn't you? Yeah, we got a whole bunch of them. Um, and I think we each came back with like maybe four bluefish oh, that wow. day. So, yeah. And it's a very oily fish. Oh, that's why it's good for chowder. You know what? Um, I don't know. I just know that my mother had a friend, just like this very old woman who used to always use the bluefish that they would catch when they would go fishing. So we just always use bluefish. For chowder? Yeah. She so knows what doing. I don't know if everybody does. I just, that was just an old recipe. We're going to find out today if it's any good. We don't know. And if it isn't, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Yeah, if it isn't, what well, well, right. to like it. Time, it so. just, some, just put a different fish in your chowder. But this, fish, this is fish chowder nonetheless. OK, okay. So what should we do? Well, we want to, um, according to this recipe, uh, and yeah, peel it's potatoes. a three large gold potatoes. Okay, okay. we're going to peel them. Okay. We're going to do that. Caroline, you want to peel one? Do we one? have to peel one? Don't hurt yourself. All right. Hi, okay, right, come on in. Yes. Here's Welcome to the golden oh, pan. Right. We're making fish chowder. Hold the chair. Mm -hmm. So I went deep yeah, sea like, fishing uh, once, like Mona. Yeah. 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 You fun? It was fun. We went mackerel fishing. So every time you stuck the, 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 um, the rod in the water, you caught a fish. So, you know, hence the term holy mackerel. Oh. We did catch a couple of mackerel. Yes, because it's like there's so many, and when they're in school, yeah. you know, we have so much of it. I didn't realize they were so little. Yes. I had no idea. What do you do with them? Yeah. We grilled them. We, oh, we brought them home and we wrapped them in foil and we put with butter and we grilled them on the grill. Is it bony? Good. Yes. All right, so as we're doing that, we can probably chop up this. Uh, this recipe says one, two medium yellow onions, and that's pretty darn good. I got a large onion. That's big. So Yeah, so one is good. That's what I thought. I actually, our pot's not enormous, so. <laughs> All right, so there, actually, Mary's wearing glasses, so that'll help her that's eyes not to water. <laughs> doesn't usually help, but. If you wear glasses when you're cutting onions, no. or if no. you... If you know that's not oh, true. It hurts already. I can't tell you how many times I cry with a glass You're on. That if you eat a piece of bread, I've done that. Yeah, I've done that. That works. They say cold Small water. Cut you do the cold else. water. That's supposed to work. So, Anne, 
You made fish chowder because you ate fish on Fridays, is that why? A long time ago, yes. That's true. Only on Friday. How come? Um, it was, I'm Catholic, and it was a Catholic tradition that you did not eat meat on Friday because that was the day that Jesus Christ died on the cross. You ate fish. Oh. Or okay. you didn't. And in my case, I didn't. I just had peanut butter and jelly, I guess. Because you don't really like fish, but no, you know I how don't. to make it. Yeah. Well, totally. yes. <laughs> better if I buy it. <laughs> But this is your famous recipe, so we're gonna oh, try this it. This is my <laughs> yes. So, um, it, since it's a big fish, I think we can probably put like more, a couple more potatoes. On. I think so too. I like a, I like a, I, I like, like a potato a chowder. Yeah. Potatoes. So, chowder. so with this useless peeler, I'll do a couple more. You have to watch your fingers. I know. Well, Lisa has no problem with everything. Oh, <gasps> that's not true. <laughs> Okay, so I have a what question because I don't know the answer, answer to this. When you when you go fishing, how mm -hmm. many days should you um how many days can you keep the fish in the fridge before you cook it? You know what? I don't know because we always make it the next day. Right away. Yeah. You can freeze it though, right? Yeah. yeah. We froze. Yes. yes. Okay. I know that. So yeah. We want to Are you them. crying yet, Mary? Not yet. No, See, must you be wear the glasses. <laughs> We're short um, well, what size do you want? Um, they should be too little. Oh, dice? Dice, yeah. Do you have a dice? I have a food chopper here. That is on TV now. <laughs> so maybe we need to invest in a little bit of equipment for the golden pan. Mom, there are two sides. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the two sides to this. Yeah, that let's here. try the other side. Oh, Caroline, why didn't you I tell me about that? She she just disappeared. She's just Ooh, well, maybe not because I didn't breakfast. feel like it. No. <laughs> Clearly, from the way I chop, I am no chef. Oh. Please. Oh. Chop, 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 chop thing. All right, there you go. See, nice little pieces like that. This should really be like a. Rachel Ray, 30 minute meal will take us ah, an hour and a half sure. with the chopping. Well, when I was teaching Rachel. <laughs> she loves it. So what we want to do is, before we take this and stick it in there, Anne, is what, what are we doing? How much butter do we Put need? a little butter. Put some butter. How much um, butter? Yeah, um, a decent amount, right? You well, take a, slant, a thin slice, I think. That's what I would do. All right. It, it says, says a teaspoon. It says one teaspoon. That's small. Yeah, that's, that's probably not enough. A that's teaspoon way teaspoon of butter. We like more butter. Let's see, what's this say? one say? It's always it's a good like, idea to follow the recipe. Only if you read it, of course. Uh, it doesn't, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> good enough. Two medium onions. I'm going to put this much in. That's good. Oh, okay. That's, that's great. great. Okay. So that can start heating up, I guess, right? i got to tell you that the recipe says a teaspoon. Are you going to saute the onions? In the yeah, that's fine. Yes. Yes. We want it to, we want it to put a little good more. Good for now. Knowing that my little fingers are there, I'm going to be careful. Ooh, okay. All right, then. Beautiful, our little dice. Actually, you don't even have to have them that small. It's not even the right knife. No, it's the only one that actually works, yeah. All right, I need to buy knives and hands. Okay. Now, don't you want to think about you want these things in QB? Yeah, i Super. And they get so fast, right? And this is for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so we're going to save it for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Hi, everyone. That hurts. Uh, if we're melting the butter, we yeah, need to start out. putting the onions in there. All right, so toss those in. We got that. Scoop that on there. Um, and it should be on low, and they should be translucent. Oh. Translucent. Yes. Yeah. Trans Trans Translucent in color. That's how you know they're ready. Don't put that in. My mother would be so proud of you. <laughs> and why is that? Because my last name for Mary was Murphy. And who put the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder? That's right. 
Do we want? Should we have a little sing? Who put the old Here are rolls in Mrs. Mrs. Murphy's chowder? Nobody answered, so they, they shouted all the louder. It's, it's an Irish trick that's true, and it's I'll lick the mix it through. through. The overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder. And that was phenomenal. Yay! Yay! Yeah, that yeah. was awesome. Get her in a show. Brooke, you can <laughs> sing along. Uh, yep. That was that. <laughs> that was that. No, I'm just saying that not being used until they're transparent or translucent. That's the word of the day. Translucent. Last week, last time it was anus. No, yeah, anus. Yeah, that's what we learned. It was anus. It was anus. I still don't know how to say it. And Mary Morabli, where are you? So the problem is, Mary, they don't have funding. For our show, yeah. no, we don't so have any fun. In order for us to get pots and pans, any underwriters out donate there? to H Cam. All right, so we can uh, put a little E V O O, as Rachel Ray would say, and we're probably just gonna eyeball that. That's what she does. Oh God, too much. Nope, that's fine. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that helps it along, not stick. <laughs> They're not translucent yet. Not translucent. No, not yet. It smells really good though. I love the smell of butter and onions cooking. Now, typically when I would make chowder, I would put the salt and pepper in with the onions. Well, why doesn't she do that? Caroline's going to help with that. Caroline, you can come and salt and pepper the onions. All right, Caroline. Go ahead. Some pepper in there. Pepper the onions. Pepper the onions. I like a lot of pepper, so we yeah, put a whole lot more. Really well. <laughs> For somebody my age, is that good? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would even put a little more. I have a, a, a lot of pepper, a little salt. Huh? No, that's good. Uh -huh. But they used Go to be a salt. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Not too much salt. Ooh, that's, that's just fabulous. fabulous. So you make fish chowder with your mom at home? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And my grandma. Sometimes I go with What type of fish do you guys put in your chowder? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Mary, what, what kind of fish do you I don't know. We use cheese and haddock. When Nana does it, she uses haddock, and it's really good. And she saves us some. We never do anything quite as well as Nana. But we try. Yeah. Right. So these are almost, almost transparent. All right. Yeah. Maybe a couple more minutes. Okay. All right. So the onions are translucent, Mary. My work here is done. That is beautiful. Hi, Shepherd. Hey, Hello, everybody. They're good. Hey. We're making. We're playing out. With yeah. the blue fish. to cover it over. Okay. They're going to sit for a while. So, Should uh, we cover this, Mary? Sure, cover it, I guess. Do All we right. have a cover? Do we, do we have cover? I couldn't find a cover. cover. What do we do? That's you, fine. I use the plate. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What, you, what you're going to need some sort of a napkin or something. Yeah, I have a pot lift. holder. Yeah, pot holder. Or a lift sock. Just <laughs> socks are fine. <laughs> they don't even have to be clean because that is hot. You know? <laughs> All right, I'm trying to cut this. this I'm trying to cut this, but I'm having a hard time with these 
stinky knives. And there's some serious skin on this thing. Um, Watch your fingers. Watch yeah, out. It doesn't want to yeah. be eaten so, by it. There we go. I got it. I got it. We're going to cut it in half so that we can put it in that tiny pot. Um, oh, and then we're going to no. get that skin off after it's cooked. And um, so being the Irish Mrs. Murphy, yes. you must have fished. Uh, no, my brothers did, okay. but I didn't. So did they any, 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 ever bring anything big Yes, home? they did. My brother uh, David was a good fisherman. He used to bring home fish and my mother would cook it for David, you know, because the rest of us didn't want any of it. But he did and uh, oh, he was a good fisherman. I mean, he enjoyed that as a recreation and he got to eat the fish and in a family of five that was nice you yeah. got to eat what you wanted to eat so you know that was it i don't remember any more details than that um, all right well when i was little and i went fishing with my dad he wouldn't take me fishing unless i would bait my own hook Oh, okay. And yes. for the longest time putting you know i it didn't bother me to put oh the you work. were good uh, i didn't mind doing that um, I didn't like taking the fish off no. the hook. It could be one or the other. It was just like hard. Sometimes the, the um, it would hook move. was caught in and the fish was moving and yeah. so, and it was hard to get out. So I, uh, I used to catch I used to catch horn pout down at Lake Maspinock. I got pretty good at it, yeah, but I don't, I don't even think there are any horn pout in Lake Maspinock anymore. Well uh, one day I was working at the state park and I I wasn't supposed oh, to do yeah, this because yeah. I would cook burgers on the grill for the you know, patrons of State Park. But I filleted and skinned the whole entire fish without touching it once using oh, knives. Yeah. Fried it up and gave it to my friends oh. and then cooked burgers right on that grill. Oh, <laughs> nice, Mary. Oh, nobody knew. All right, Mary, the potatoes are soft. Be careful oh, sure. when you take the lid off because the steam comes out and you can burn yourself when you don't have a real lid and you're using a plate. Again, mm. we could use funding. So, <laughs> here we go. And my dear. Doesn't PBS have like Where a telephone? Maybe we should. You want to touch it? Do you have a fork? I'd rather. Right, I'll touch. I'll do the touch. Right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lake kind of girl. Okay. All right, so we're going to lay it. I'm going to lay this beauty oh, right on lovely. top here. Both of those. We had to cut it in half because the pan is too small. And we're going to sit it there um, and we're going to let it. Cook just like that. We yeah. can cover it with our plate. And how long do you think that should be? Um, probably about ten minutes, I think. Okay. Not even. We'll see. All right. So the fish is in the pot. The fish in the is pot. in the pot. The chop is the uh, are the overalls in there too? No. No. No, <laughs> no overalls. Yeah. I do another time, but I'm not going to sing it. And you're very lucky. <laughs> Again. So we um, to to make the meal a little bit quicker. Normally, once everything's done, the fish is on. You're going to cool it off then stir in the cream, but so the cream won't curdle, we're going to heat it up on really low heat so that it's warm. So when we add it to the chowder, it won't curdle. So this is just, this is a Rachel Ray speeding up, Rachel Ray speed up, 30 minutes. So I'm going to put it on very low, Mary. Yeah, well, so it gets warm. Yeah. Okay. So that it's just like steaming just a little bit? Just a little bit. Thanks for trying to attack me with that fish, Mary. <laughs> All right, so we realize you made a mistake. Bluefish has scales, and we're making if we put its skin down, the chowder. scales are going to be in the chowder, which we're is so gross. Chowder. So we're flipping it over in hopes that we can just peel the skin off the top. We'll find out. We've never used bluefish before. We've had this in here for what about ten minutes, Mary? Yeah, not quite. And we're peeling off the skin, which is coming off very easily. And we are not going to get any of those. I want to get them scales in the in our chowder. chowder. Just take it off. Might need to go. We might need to just stay in there a few more minutes. Yeah. The more it's cooked, the easier the skin comes yeah. off. Yeah. But I mean, you can see how easy. Yeah, so I'm going to just put the cover on for a few more minutes. And that skin sheet just comes right off. All right. The so we peeled the scales and the skin off of the fish. It came right off very easily. Wouldn't you say so, Mary? Uh, yeah, it's bluefish, so I think a haddock or cod would come off a little bit easier. But So now we're just kind oh. of, we're, we're mixing 
the bones. <laughs> and always the have some nice bones in there. And oh, yeah, we'll take those we'll out. We'll take the bones out. <laughs> We're not really mixing the bones in with the chowder. Found some. You know, sometimes they're not always good at getting all the bones out when they um, clean the fish on the boat. So, you laughing over there? All right. So now we're just mixing the fish in with the potatoes and the onions, letting it cook a little more. And we're almost ready for the cream to go in. We need a, I need a spoon. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna I put that almost take plate cover on for maybe two more minutes. Yeah. And we then we'll add the cream. cream. All right. We're gonna we're gonna pour in the. We used half and half. It's warm. And she's here. You can use as much as you want. So. Um, depends on how much chowder, how much, how much um, broth you want in your chowder. I think that looks perfect. That looks beautiful, Mary. Look at that. Look at that. That does look good. We haven't used any um, flour. Um, oh, this stuff. So because good. it's a pretty. It depends on it's what you want. If you want a thicker chowder, then you can add some flour. You can add it to your milk. We're not at the moment going to use any do because. We, do we use? Do you use flour? And that's looking that. nice. So it, it'll sit yeah, for a little bit. Yeah. Chowder gets better with age, we'll so we'll make, tomorrow we'll it's going to be even better. Milk. But we will we'll try it, it. That's all it does. in a few minutes. It smells really good. I know it does. Really I think it's okay. It's really good. We were worried a little bit, but <laughs> it smells so we don't put too too much in our chowder. We don't like a lot of extra stuff, so it's really to taste. You can put your parsley. I don't know. Some seasonings, definitely more pepper. Um, so, do you put celery in this? Um, no, we actually found out that most chowders you don't put celery. I mean, some you do, and, and she doesn't like it, and Anne, Anne thought we shouldn't do it, so the, we have that majority so rule. <laughs> so, if you want celery, you can stick it in, but um, I don't think you need to. Yeah, I don't think I've ever put celery in chowder. No, it, it's grown. She doesn't like it's it. Grown. All right, should we, should we try it? All right, yeah, we, try we should it. try it. We're trying it. Wanna try Let's some try chowder? It. Oh, don't think so. Oh, come, come, on. Right. come on. She just remembered you to this whole to thing. Else. Oh, oh, I'm sure it's good. Look, eat it. Mary, other it's than salt and pepper, pepper, what other um, spices do we put in this? Um, well, you can garnish it with some fresh parsley. Uh, you can, if you want, put some thyme in it and um, what else? Richard, do you want to try some fish chowder? I do. All right, Mary. All right. So should we try it? No, yeah. made it too. I'll try it. So it's sampling. Good, how are you? A little fish. A little potato. I'm going to try it. How yeah. is the potato? Oh, there we are. All right, I got that. You got them? You sampling? I like it with baked potatoes. Baked potatoes. Let's see. Hot bowl. Mm. Mm. That's good. You have to swallow it. Mm -hmm. Ow! You can serve it up. I guess the teeth. I still have. Ice. All right, Mary. I, I think it's done. Mouth. Okay. Look at that. It looks beautiful. <gasps> Richard, welcome! Look what you get. You got a lovely. I don't know. This looks really good. Mrs. Murphy. Yeah, well, Mrs. Murphy, I don't eat chowder. A lot of nice fish in here. Yeah, right. You give me your spoon. <laughs> this is when you want to add your extra salt and pepper to taste. Do you want some, Mary? Yeah. Put a little more broth in the dough, would uh, you? Yeah, it's it's really hot. You know what? I'm just going to leave that and we'll get my nails and then come back. It is hot. Do you want to try some? Yeah. It is lovely. Isn't that beautiful, Anne? Oh, yes. It is. One of my better. Mm. What do you think? Sure Other than one of better towers? <laughs> yeah. Was it good, Richard? Put some ice cubes in it. <laughs> well, you know, usually you let it sit for a while. We're eating it right off the stove, which yes. is not the ideal way to do a chowder. And the broth, it, it's a little bit of a thinner chowder, so mm -hmm. we could have added some flour flour if we wanted to. But as if you uh, tomorrow, this is going to be even thicker, and it's usually better a day or two mm -hmm. later. Okay. Stick that in the fridge. Bring it to your lunch. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
This is it. Mrs. Murphy. Now, where yeah. are those overalls? Whatever. I don't know. We never found them. We didn't find the overalls. Never. Never. It's funny. Someone's doing laundry and then we can We did have the it. music to it, but we, we never had it. To... This is Murphy's chowder. This is Murphy McGuire's chowder. Yes. What kind of fish is in here? This is bluefish. Bluefish? Blue <laughs> That's the nice fish. Oh. That's interesting. Where you where do you Quite get tasty. a blue fish around here? You can Sonoma. buy one, but where do they work themselves? No, I went down the Cape. Oh, okay. okay. It's the Cape. Okay. Chatham. It's really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. It always bothers you, but you yeah. catching this. He said that was good. Nice. It's good. Yeah, Where's it's good. Uh, where is the uh, fish from? The Cape. Off the Cape. It was actually caught. Yeah, fish. she caught it last week. Yeah, she did. Them. Grill them on the grill. Yeah, I mean, we've never, I've never used bluefish before, so it's kind of, kind of a little nerve, a little scary, but it's not bad. One fish, two fish, <laughs> red fish. Bluefish. Everybody's enjoying the chowder. It was a great recipe, Mary. Thank you for showing us some tips and tricks on how to make fish chowder. And you yes. too, Anne. Oh, thank you. Thank you for all your help, and thank you, Mona, for catching us bluefish. We had fresh fish from oh, the ocean. Yeah. It's always great to have fresh ingredients. Until next time, see you on the Golden Pan. Bye. 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 See ya. This show often talks to people who have interesting hobbies or careers or different things that they have going on that affect our community. I'm Mary Arnott, your host. There is a huge need for providing food for individuals and family. And that's the key, that's the key. is yeah. working well together. You can see more episodes online at our website, hkim.tv.